Welcome back to another edition of Why Real Estate. We're grateful you're here. Please do us a favor and subscribe and like and even share uh, our podcast. Uh, we're here again with, you know, again, with the focus on the fundamentals of real estate uh, and the importance, you know, of having uh, an updated or uh, even a remodeled home in some instances. And because of that, we've got Stuart Taylor, owner and operator of Stuart Construction with us. Uh, Stuart is a great friend, uh, known him for a while, and he uh, has actually done quite a bit of work, not just for myself on property that I own, but um, for others that I've recommended him to as well. Um, very thorough, uh, does just does great work, and, and we're grateful to have him on here with us. Stuart, welcome. Hey, thanks, Lynn. I appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. So jumping right into it, uh, a lot of people will ask, if I remodel, will I get my money back? Um, now that's more of a real, real realtor question, right? Oh yeah. Um, now, now overall, that depends on what you do exactly, right? Because yeah. generally, if you're doing a high end remodel, no, you're not going to get your money back. Yeah, right? absolutely. But if you're doing some necessary things, for example, uh, kitchen. How important is a kitchen remodel on on uh, selling a home or updating a kitchen? I mean, obviously, it depends on on any client, right? It's 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 going to be variable. I bet when you're meeting with your clients and everything, they're like, oh, this is what's most important to me. This is what's most important to me. But with a kitchen remodel, I mean, honestly, that, that's usually, um, I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, but it's the pinnacle of the home. It's it's the, so many people that they, they see the kitchen, they're like, oh, oh my gosh, this makes a difference. You know, they're not going to care necessarily always about every single bedroom or whatever, but you hear people, they'll, they're going to make comments about their kitchens. They're going to make comments about the bathrooms when they're, when they're seeing properties with you. I mean, I can recall a, a client that I recently helped buy a home, you know, just last month and no doubt, no question, the winning piece was when the wife walked into the kitchen and it had probably yeah. been remodeled within the last few years. Uh, for her, it was where she was going to spend a lot of time yeah. and there was no getting around it. There was no other option. There was no other house at that point for yeah. her, you know, they wanted to do, and the husband Absolutely. wanted to help her get yeah. the house that she wanted. Um, other areas that are important that, that stand out to people in a home that are looking to purchase a home, what would they be as far as updating and remodeling? Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, a lot of the time people are looking for a home that that's just more open. The last thing someone wants to do is when they open their front door, they're facing a wall. They're, they're looking, um, or they're every room to get into, you're, they're going through a hallway. That's the last thing people want nowadays. So honestly, just, uh, taking, taking that extra time and putting some money into, to remodeling a home to make it more open concept will make your house seem way bigger, uh, than, than it was when it was, every room was closed off. When you're opening your door to a wall, it makes the biggest difference. I agree. People do like that openness. Uh, another area of the home that I can let you know that is critical is the master bedroom, master suite, master yeah. living area, including the bathroom. Absolutely. Um, huge and very important. Uh, great thing to focus on if you're looking to sell your home or making some changes there. If you're looking to buy, I mean, it's it becomes pretty apparent uh, when you walk into a master living area um, what your overall feeling will be about the home. Oh, absolutely. Right? I mean, and the amount of things you can do with a master suite and, uh, especially when you, you have a large master suite, you go into the bathroom and it's just well laid out. It's an efficient use of space. I mean, that, that goes the furthest is just having, you, you have a, it's aesthetic, it's efficient, it works. So, uh, in, in addition, just your residential home that you would live in, um, I've actually had Stuart add to an investment property that I have, you know, a wall separating the basement living area so that it had a living area and a bedroom, which then I could rent for more money. Yeah. Right. More bedrooms Absolutely. typically mean more money on an mm -hmm. investment property. If you put it a closet, you know, obviously Stuart follows is, is by the book and everything on, on permits and different things, but he's, he does a, a good job and that's another Thing that I'd highly suggest is if you can create more bedroom space mm -hmm. um, if you're an investor. Yeah, right? absolutely. You, you do those quite a, quite a bit. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's probably one of the most economic ways to add value to your home. Adding another bedroom. Um, Stuart, is there anything in particular when it comes to construction? Uh, I know your focus is primarily you know remodels and updating, mm -hmm. not necessarily building entire homes. Yeah, and that's why we have you on because of your niche and and, and what you're good at. Um, uh, what are some particular things or what are some things that, that would be important for people to hear? 
Um, I, I mean, I think remodeling is, is one of those things where I'm sure Lane, what you experience a lot is people are talking about location that they want a certain place. And sometimes they just can't find a home that fits, um, with where they want to live. Mm -hmm. And that can be really frustrating. Some people are willing to give up that location, but I think it's really important. We know we're talking about the front end, but let's talk about the back end. When someone, they found a home, it's right in the perfect area for them. They, maybe they have uh, a good support system close by, whatever it may be, but it isn't right. Let's say the floor plan isn't right. It's outdated. I mean, remodeling is as much an option then as it was when you were trying to get some more value out of your home. These are some great points because I, I, I often have clients and I prep them you know, from an expectation standpoint of, hey, the perfect home doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if it does, we won just won the lottery. Yeah. But think absolutely. about what you can change to make it. If you have the right location, it's the right size of home, it's where you want it to be. And then the layout's a little off. Well, you definitely can fix those things. Yeah. You know, the, super simple to do, um, you know, get obviously with the right contractor, but those can make, it can make a big difference where you can make the home you know, the place that you want it to be. You could make yeah. it almost your perfect spot. Absolutely. Your perfect place. Absolutely. Um, so Stuart, thanks for being on. Uh, yeah. Appreciate you a ton and, and grateful for the insight and the nuggets and uh, good luck in business and highly recommend Stuart if anybody here in Utah is looking for some remodel work. I appreciate thanks. it, Lane. Thanks. Yep.